Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another new video. And here is the iPhone 15 Pro which I have in my hand, which I got it from Dubai. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to get your VAT refund when you go to Dubai Airport. And if you're coming back from Dubai, Abu Dhabi, or Sharjah, this is completely valid. You can get a VAT refund on your product. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get VAT refund in Dubai, Abu Dhabi or Sharjah airport, which is complete UAE. So please do not skip this video. I'll only talk point to point. I'll not waste your time. Do not skip this video, guys. Watch this video till the end. I'll answer all your questions. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So point number one. If you're going for VAT refund, if you buy iPhone or any other product, if you're going for VAT refund, the product has to be with you in your carry-on baggage that you carry to your flight. If your product is in the check-in baggage, forget it, you are not going to get any kind of VAT refund. Point number two, when you go to the airport, ensure that you find this VAT refund counter after immigration. Many people have asked me, where do you find this counter? Is it before immigration? I can, uh, can, I, uh, can I get a VAT refund before immigration? Keep it in my check-in baggage and then send the product? Absolutely not. This counter is after immigration where you will have only your carry-on baggage with you. That's point number two. Point number three, when you're going for a VAT refund, do not opt for card transfer or bank transfer. It is not going to work out. I'll be very transparent with you guys. Even though the VAT refund officer there says, we'll transfer to your bank account. It will come in the next seven working days. We'll transfer to your credit card or debit card. It will come within the next seven to 10 working days. Please do not fall for this trap. I wouldn't call it a scam. Always opt for cash method, guys. They're going to give you the cash in dirhams as simple as that just take that and get it home you wouldn't want to do a bank transfer because there is no customer care there is no point of contact once you're back to india you're on your own and nobody is gonna give a damn about it so always opt for cash transfer there is a separate counter i'll try to show that in this video at the end where exactly is the vat refund counter and i was in dubai t3 it is also there in t1 t2 t3 it is there in abu dhabi it is there in sharjah you don't have to worry about it and the fourth uh, fourth point that most of you guys ask me can i carry drone can i carry gold can i carry this electronics how many phones can i carry what is the process of carrying so many phones what should i say all those information you can check in the description below because this video is going to be very very lengthy if i try to cover uh, what to carry what not to carry how many phones you can carry so do you need to throw your box this video is going to be too lengthy guys so i just put point to point you can go back to this video watch this again but the most common question that i get is does your product needs to be in carry-on or chicken baggage it's absolutely needs to be with you they are going to verify the bill they are going to verify this particular thing i'm just going to show you they are going to verify this and they are clearly going to verify the bill and does it uh, is it actually eligible for VAT refund they're going to uh, show everything and if you were looking to buy iphone or any electronic gadgets in dubai my recommendation is city choice bar dubai i'll link it in the description below i've already made a video about it last year when i went to video uh, when i went to dubai detailed video on this you can check that out as well and you can meet mr hanif he's a very nice person and he uh, knows me so if you tell my name or this channel name you if you're lucky you might get a discount as well most of my friends have got this discount so that's it guys if you have any questions drop a note in the comment section i'll respond to you as soon as possible or if you want to connect with Instagram, follow and then connect me with Instagram. Otherwise, I'm not getting notified. As simple as that. So, any questions, watch this video till the end because I'll be showing you on where exactly is the VAT, uh, VAT uh, refund counter in Dubai T3 if you are interested. So, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, drop a note in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in my next video.
Hey guys, so once you come out of uh, immigration, as soon as your security check is over, you can find this uh, Planet VAT refund counter in Dubai T3 and you can ask anyone where this VAT refund counter is. It's so visible guys, like as you can see in my video, as soon as your security check is done, you can find this Planet VAT refund counter and you can carry your product with you like I explained in my video. If you have not seen this video at the beginning, you can do that. You can just go to the VAT refund counter. They're going to check your product. They're going to, they're going to check the bill and they are going to refund an issue of your product.